Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Windows cannot find one of the files in this theme error. Would you like to save the theme? So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by left clicking on the start button at one time. Select the gear icon on the left side where if you hover over it, it should say settings. So go ahead and left click on that. Select the personalization tile. Select themes on the left side. Now at this point, go ahead and attempt to change the theme down here or search for themes in Microsoft Store and see if that's been able to resolve the problem. Otherwise, you want to go ahead and minimize out of the settings window. We're going to be coming back to it in a little bit. Open up the start menu again. Type in run, so R-U-N. Best match or one of the best matches should come back or run right above app. Don't select let apps run in the background. You just want to select the one entry that says run and that's it. So I'm going to go select run here. You know, I'm going to have a command in the description of the video. I want you guys to copy it. It should start with a percent sign. So I'm going to just paste it in here. Percent sign wind IR and then percent sign backslash resources backslash themes. Go ahead and lock on OK. Now that you're here, you want to go and find whatever theme is causing your problem. So perhaps there's an arrow theme or a light theme whatever the particular issue is. So if you had a custom theme in here, you just right click on it and then select delete. So again, that's another option for you there as well. So close out of here. Another thing you can try would be to go ahead and open up the start menu, type in screensaver. Best manage should come back with change screensaver. Go ahead and left click on that. In the screen saver section, you want to click inside the drop down, select none, and then select apply and OK. See if that's resolved your problem. Another thing you can try would be to open back up the settings window we minimized, and you want to click the back arrow. Select the accounts tile now. Select where it says sync your settings. And then if you do have settings enabled, so my case is a little bit unique here, but if it's underneath individual sync settings and theme was turned on, you want to click inside this oval one time to turn it off. However, all my options are grayed out for a completely unrelated reason to this tutorial, but as you can see, they're automatically already turned on, so it's just a little bit weird in my case, but you just want to toggle this to the off position if you have the ability to do so. So close out of here. Another thing you could do would be to run the SFC utility, so SFC and then forward slash scan now in an elevated command line window, which is just the system file checker utility which is used to repair missing or corrupted Windows files. So I'll have a link to that command in the description of the video if for some reason you guys are looking for it. So just to kind of get it set up, if you open up the start menu and typed in CMD, best match came back with command prompt, if you right clicked on it and then select run as administrator get a user account control prompt. I'm going to select yes. I'm not going to make you guys wait through this whole command, but we're going to open up the command prompt window here. Right click on the top bar, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. And then you just hit enter to run this command, begin the system process verification scan, and then you'd have to restart your computer once it's done. So just another thing to put out there. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.